Thank you for joining us, Wildcats. This is Back to School Night by your very own Physical Education Studios. I'm your host, Mr. Orner. We begin this program with our very own Ms. McCarthy. <laughs> Mrs. McCarthy, thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit more about what our Wildcats can expect in their daily weekly schedule. Thanks, Mr. O. All students and parents can locate our daily instruction on Otis by selecting class boards and bookshelf. All daily lesson videos and live Zoom meeting links will be located on a Google Calendar that we share with our students. Students will simply click on their class board or bookshelf in Otis and they will have access to then click on the Google Calendar for their PE course with all of the daily and weekly activities. I can't wait to meet my Wildcats. Back to you, Mr. O. Wow, magnificent. Thank you for sharing. Mrs. McCarthy, up next, an exclusive with a seasoned professional, Mr. Madej, on grading and student expectation. Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Madej. My snap's a little rusty. No you problem. Can turn around, please. Thank you. So, Mr. Madej, tell us a little bit about our physical education grading and what expectations we have for our Wildcats this year. Well, first, Mr. O, thanks for having me. It's great to be back for my 17th year at Ike. Unfortunately, things are gonna look a little different this year, but we plan to make it a great year for our students. Making a great year starts with expectations. First, we expect all students to join our Zoom during the period so they can learn the lesson and activities for the day. When they join Zoom, they need to have their first and last name or they won't be let in on the call. They're also expected to be on the video and in a space where they can move and wear appropriate clothes because they may get sweaty. The students will receive their assignments and assessments through Otis and the assessments will be graded in two ways. First, on an IB rubric where they can have a formative and summative assessment. And second, a learning behavior grade just like last year, but this year we only have work completion and engagement. And that's gonna be graded on a CSR, consistent, sometimes, or rarely. The students are expected to complete the assignments and assessments because this year in distance learning, grades count. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly, we expect our students to be participating daily, be active, challenge themselves to attempt different activities, and most of all, have fun, especially now. Physical activity is needed now more than ever because these students are gonna be sitting in front of a computer all day long and they need to move. All day indeed. All Splendid. day. Splendid. And I really appreciate joining you today and have a great day. Absolutely. Always a pleasure to hear from you, Mr. Madej. And to close out our broadcast this evening, Mrs. Bullijan educates us on parent, student, and teacher communications. <laughs> Mrs. Bullijan, thank you for joining us. Please enlighten us on how communications work within the PE department. Communication with parents and students is very important to us. We will be holding office hours so parents can meet with us when needed from 8.45 to 9 o'clock every morning and 3.15 to 3.30 every afternoon. Here's how to get in touch with us. The first way to email your student's PE teacher is to go to your student's Otis account. You should have received instructions from the district office. Once you're on the homepage, you go to classes, once you are on the classes page, you will see all of your students' classes. You can email the teacher by going up into the top right-hand corner and clicking on email the teachers. The second way you are able to email your students' teacher is to go to the rcsdk8.org website, the school district's website. Click on schools. You will be opening Ike. You will be going to the menu bar. You will be clicking on staff. You will be finding your teacher's PE, or your student's PE teachers, excuse me, and then you can send an email that way. As I stated, communication is very important. Now that you know how to get in touch with us, please feel free to do so at any time. Back to you, Brad. Super, just super. Thanks for sharing, Mrs. Bullijan. Now I'll be all with you. And that's it, folks. We look forward to navigating distance learning with you all. I'm Mr. O. Have a great night. <laughs>